Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Well, we won't lack for firewood at least. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. Un sans sécurité. Despise the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph. Couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! I will teach you some manners, boy. How dare you show me such disrespect! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates bad. now, you built rat? <laughs> Hold mine. Happy hunting, lads! Set her ablaze! Sink that French vessel! There's no match for you! Ha ha! Yeah!
I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood, Shay. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Cut off. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruled Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harps the souls of fallen warriors. Her ship! Shen, they will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain. Ready for battle, man. Ready to march, sir! They're coming after us, sir! It's a break! British vessels! Just that ship! Ready! Fire! Stop them, boy! Ready to fire, sir! To pieces! Do something! Fire! Ha <laughs> ha! They're not fire! It seems this vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of your gift for. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads! Chevalier is pleased with us! What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Emergency Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever. Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely on, your fault, everyone. in case you're wondering. We're in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. 
To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles. Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Von Gadir has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. So we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple under the waves, I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and precursor box. I gave chase on the sea, but lost their trail when they reached New York. We must consider what to do next. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase. And will continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adewale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Top Scar 
We only have one lead, Shane. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Sir Keeley's tasked you with this mission. No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dalshay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? To watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. You do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. Studies what little is known about the pieces of evil. And of course, he corresponds with assassins from other continents. Of course. Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will end aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the rules be would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about the Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and the English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I... I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate, the scourge of the West Indies, rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? The rum here is terrible. Let me see. That's not rum. So, Louis Joseph. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. The Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. 
businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Yeah. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Loading cargo! We should be nearby, Captain. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, the and a leading Templar. He lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. We're trying to make sure he doesn't. Up. A blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package and find Washington. Pull off, lads. Loose the rope. the topsails and gallants. Draw a banker. Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. <sighs> you are too late. Assassin! It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here... <coughs> ...has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you... ...for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God 
damn it. We'd better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. The two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. We'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, the messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. Liala. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden were. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and we'll soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails these very waters. 
as he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. artifact treasure from those who came before yes it matters not <coughs> some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript and all shall be revealed You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be 
when the French undermine these squabbling colonies. These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal confiscated nowadays. Yes. Yes. The army will melt it down and turn it into weapons. War is upon us. So, Master Franklin, what do you think? Maiden John, it temporarily stores power. Did you see that strange stuff in Benjamin Franklin's garden? I keep well clear of that place. They say that man messes with lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Better hurry back to the Shay! Thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Sword clear as day, Hope. It's a convent. Right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am. Looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. 
Strange days indeed. Benedictus est, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum, quo tibi offerimus, fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis diet potus espiritalis. In nomine patris et fili et espiritu. What do we have here? The artifact. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake, thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell's knew. going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor. Or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing, exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay! Get him from here! 
That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles... I cannot! I will not let this happen again. All those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! What is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. Alright, Namsky. We don't know where she is or what he's doing now. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Et alors Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shay is after. Franklin traveled to England and France. And that guy said Notre Dame. Shay must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Help! Somebody help! Il ne nous échappera pas cette fois! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You've hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. There's another server we can access to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear.
If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? Ah! Ah! What's going on? Ah! You wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Leave her alone. Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Time to dance, man. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. <gasps> Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did. I have a book with me. Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. You again! You regret this! The Finnegans are dead! Hear me? Dead! Putting your nose in other people's business ain't nice! What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah, and where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. I have a shot. Ready to fire. I'd like to see you guard the scenes. Quick! <laughs> Will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. 
I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now. Master. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. I can't change the past. But maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe. Just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans, let them know I'm fine. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Christopher Guest, I'm Shea Cormac. But what are you doing here? Don't mind the asking. Turn of sense. Good show, Shea. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what. 
I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave the host haste. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Well, come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And yeah, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. The ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in like a wounded bear. Floating cargo for the taking, sir. There's our target, Shay. Knock her down like a game of nine pins. Begin by hitting her towers. As the colonel says. Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. What? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. Well, we could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brother that you are alive. You have to kill me, he said. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? 
Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. And may your final delivery be swift. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. It is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Yeah, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Go ahead, Master Cormac. Shoot the door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. Must get out, or I'm as good as dead.
Ah. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. He just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. It is uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on uh, the Colonel. Huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army, and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Have you the Mind your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? A whole year! Changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Yes, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to, then? Monroe mentioned the Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of a colonial right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis? Either. Though I suspect the King's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And O'Murphy is in the French King's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. Shay. You are a sight for sore eyes. 
Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncan. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncan. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. Cormac, sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. If you don't mind me asking, have to report to the president. Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. And Colm was able to bombard us for the days. Damn, frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to do this. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? Save my life. Give me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have to be paid, would you say? Perhaps. You live! Attack! Take cover! Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. Keep your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly. No fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. We have little choice. We survived French cannon, we will survive this.
Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chain! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once, Master Cormac. Meet me there. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript, why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to Storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Captain, the wheel. At the head. sir, I'm well, not to pry, but would you happen to know if Kasegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Keisei Gawase. Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born, and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell. The devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! He's off the way. Call it our sail. Aye, captain.
This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Sick of what's it? It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide us. Guide us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. 
We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Ugh, only now. What? Shit, what's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Shay's back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Arate! What are you doing? No quarrel with you! You unclutch your swine! You should not have left your backwater cut! Clear shot is not yet. Do you think this is some sort of game? Finish him! Uh. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damned sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. 
Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti Falls or... Lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lugelberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the chance. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Ordinary. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Really does. Well, the rain is rain. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrican alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but... I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Pede. At Wale. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Cut! 
Where's the Royal Navy? We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning! That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Mr. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I'd rather enjoy drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shane, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, yes. Aye, sir. Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. So, the Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal, too. Whoa! 
Foley's beached his ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. I will take the high ground and provide a distraction. Find another way. I served with your father, Hitler. You will die as a traitor. Forgive me, Adewale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shape. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over. But the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding. And most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. Things are worse than we feared. The Assassins found a way to make the Precursor Box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big. They couldn't ignore those damn brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get them, Shay. We'll need their clothes. I think we're being followed. You're right. Let's move. a disgraceful pair of crooks. Now, I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember, 
You raise the flag, and I'll raise hell. What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. Work, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damn brigands. I make my own luck. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, He'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? He didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well... Yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the Brotherhood. I see. We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. I'm sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. What is this? Poison. Slurs my heart. I have to move. Give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. The Explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, <laughs> sent him my regards. Or not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. 
Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Well, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. The Grand Master is pleased, Shay, what you did in New York. Yeah, it's only a matter of time now before order is restored. New York was never orderly, Gist. With hope gone, perhaps. It couldn't have been easy for you, my lad. But you did what you had to do. I keep telling myself that. We are almost rid of the assassins in New York. And it's not as if the Hellcat didn't try to make you wear a pine overcoat. You had no other choice. I chose to cast my lot with the Templars. And we are glad you did, Shay. Who knows? Had you not, you might have found yourself at the end of Master Kenway's blade. Or yours. Only a matter of time before someone the captain's been spinning file ever since the French have left. Never trusted them. These documents are nothing but blasted symbols and nonsense. That French devil was always one for safety. George's men will take care of those pirates. We've got our own battles to fight. Far closer escape than I'm comfortable with, but we have what we came for. Then we know where De La Verandre's ships are headed? Not quite, but we have the means to find out. We'll need Cook to interpret these maps. Then we should set sail for the coast of Newfoundland. Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found De La Verandre's travel plans, but the devil used some kind of code I, I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. It is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find La Verandry. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. I gather you have some history with our friend de la Verandre? A history of instant loathing. I should have known not to trust my friends who embrace such a wretch. My goodness, what could this fellow have done to inspire such enmity? I know him only as one of a family of explorers, extending the boundaries of my own work. From the brief encounters I've had with him, I can tell you that he's an irascible person. Right way of saying he's a cantankerous bastard. But do his actions surpass his words? I suspect this three will believe so, my dear. Did you hear that? Cannon fire. Deep within the fog. Could it be the Lavarandri? Perhaps. This is a secret expedition. They won't be keen to leave any witnesses to their voyage. Survive! Sheep ahoy! A fleet, Captain! We found them! Let us hope we are not. 
not too late. They have us at a serious disadvantage. We're gaining on them. Morgan won't let us down. How do you like the water? Huh? Cannon ready! Fire! Stay behind to stop us. I no doubt volunteered for the job. Was I right? Convinced to the end. You bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good distraction. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. It, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Levet Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Master Kenway! The La Verandry's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end, and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. If the assassins do trigger an earthquake, at least there's few around to suffer. 
I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. Yeah. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. That he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. Go on, Shay. I will find another way. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. Shay was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss! The young god! <laughs> Do I have to tell you, Liam? <laughs> I make my own luck. How would you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. 
Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order. And for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nubskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh. Your body, your mind... They're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us.
super impressed, Nupskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. There's still one last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? My son, Arno? Perhaps you have seen him? Have you seen a little boy around? I'm looking for my son. You... You're the traitor. I'm just finishing old business. Old Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. the principles of our order and all that for which we stand never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work do so until death whatever the cost this is my new creed i am shay patrick cormac templar of the colonial of the american right i am an older man now and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. 
We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment? You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.